If you don't understand that running together, lifting together, getting in shape together, learning the schemes together, fellowshipping together, struggling together, that's what builds. That's the building block. You've effectively started something that is not. This is a red flag, Albert. This is a red flag flag be a part of the solution not a part of the problem i understand listen i ain't trying to be in your pocket i'll be the last one to try and be in your pocket but if you're saying you want to work out and do this heavy stuff with your guy bring him here (laughs) yeah bring him with you bring him here and you know what as a leader as a leader how about you bring, you don't want to be a, a, a nose guard. How about you bring your whole defensive line with you and y'all train together and see if somebody emerges out of that whole crew that, that could be that dog in the middle as a nose tackle. How about you have every last one of those defensive linemen with you, Albert? How about they come with you? Let me watch how you work. Let me see the things that you do. Let me see what made you the man that had to be brought here at the price tag that you were brought here for. Let me see that before we even put a a, a shell, a pad, or a helmet on. Let me see that. And you know what? I'm going to show you that I can compete with you, and we're going to compete against one another, and we're going to compete together. And, and it's something called camaraderie is, is, is achieved. Something called, something called, and we talk about this all the time, Chad, something called accountability becomes a part of you. It is a bond between your players, your teammates, your coaches, Everyone, from the person who lays out your uniform on Sundays to the person who picks it up after to the person you go to war with on Sunday, if you had more accountability, you wouldn't be laying yourself down on the ground like you did during the course of the season last year. If you had more accountability, you would have came in ready where you would have got up. But you know what? I'm not even going to focus on that. That's not even worth focusing on. What's worth focusing on is that's in the past. What are you going to do to be that warrior that leads by example for the future, for the present, right here and now? What are you going to do right now? What are you doing to make the Washington Redskins better now? Unfortunately, we will never know because we won't see you here. Your teammates won't see you here. When I when I pass out, On the floor after working out so hard to get ready for this season, you did not see me pass out, nor did you put your hand out to help me up while I was down, or vice versa. Your personal trainer did. Well, last time I checked, personal trainers don't suit up and go on the field with you. Last time I checked, personal trainer, my eight assets personal trainer bring him here you do your time and 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 you establish what you did not establish last year it's not enough to come out at the end of the season and and you're and you're working on having four wins it's not enough to come out and say well we need some more accountability around here well we need some better coaching well we need to do things differently yeah you did not pay the price enough to come out of your face and say that you did not earn enough respect if 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 london fletcher said what what albert hainsworth said it would have been received and it would have been filed and documented why Hmm. because that man paid the price why does his name not come up for leaving and going to work out with somebody on his own why doesn't rocky mcintosh's name come up why haven't we heard brian aragpo's name come up and he's a baby god forbid you have to have a baby lead your team and you're supposed to be one of the workout warriors you're supposed to be one of the game day warriors you're supposed to be a warrior for this team and you said i won't even be here but yet when you come back and it's time to go to war and it's time to go to work you'll look at them and they'll look at you and on game day you guys are supposed to trust each other enough to go out there and win a game 
Four and twelve. Four and twelve. And need I add, your accolades aren't that good for you to warrant to act the way you're acting. I looked at your highlights. I looked at your Wikipedia page. You don't have enough on there to act this way. Sorry. I looked at your stats, and I looked at Warren Sapp's stats, and you know what? I was going to use Warren Sapp as an example, and it's not even worth it. It's not even worth bringing Warren Sapp's name into comparison because you don't even compare enough for me to do it. You're not where you need to be. You're not. You're not. And you need to realize that, and you need to humble yourself before you find yourself in a situation where you don't have the opportunity. Right now, you have the opportunity to write what you're doing. Right now, you have the opportunity to take the bull by the horns and be what it is that you need to be. And not for anybody else other than for yourself and for your teammates. Not for anything else other than that. But it's time out for falling out. It's time out for getting carted off a of field. I ain't never seen somebody get carted off a of field and come back and play. That's not heroic. Nobody's looking at you like, what a hero. <laughs> Nobody's looking at you that way. They looking at you like you a lazy A cat that had to get carted off the field. Who knows what they did for you while you was in the locker room. Give you some oxygen or something like that so you could come back out and play. Nobody looked at it as heroic, and you need to know it. And maybe the people around you aren't telling you that, but somebody needs to say it to you because if you don't stop that, all you will be known as is the guy that came to Washington and, and was a part of uh, uh, a long list of, of free agents that came here, took money, did nothing, and left. If that's what you want your legacy to be, by all means, let that be your legacy. But if you want to do something that is constructive and that is going to make this team what it needs to be, and at the end of the day, you need to come on back and you need to say, you know what, I am here to work. And I am here to work with my team and I'm here to work with my coaches and we're going to get better for this next season that's coming up.